I'll pick up where I left off, uh, accessing character strings, but this time specifically looking at merging and splitting character strings. So the main function that I've been working with, and you can see that I've been trying to figure out a little bit the arguments uh, of this function, is paste. And the two arguments that it takes are sep and collapse. So to work with this, I'm going to put in individual character string. Uh, yeah, so these are, are treated as several vectors of length 1 rather than one single vector. And that seems to be one of the things that makes a big difference. So as individual vectors, I do, I do not, I, missing my do. So I do not know. And the sep element defaults to a space. And so what the sep does is it separates vectors, individual vectors, by whatever it is uh, that you've selected to separate it. So it separates these individual vectors of length 1 together with a space. So since these are individual vectors and it's not collapsing the character strings of one single vector, collapse will actually do the exact same thing. So we'll see that right here, the exact same thing. Because I was having such trouble figuring out what the difference was between them, let's try this one more time. And since sep, uh, the default is a period, uh, a space, what that means is this one right here is treating the default as a space already. So it's like this has sep equals space in there. So let's try this with a period to separate it. And since the sep is separating individual vectors that are merged together, we would expect this one to include a period in there. Since the collapse is collapsing a single vector together with the period, I would expect there to be no period in that one. And the default sep of space means that this one here will be separated by spaces. So this will be separated by period. This will be separated by the default space. And there we go. So we'll see that, let's see, what, will, what can we do? Uh, so what he's also showing here is uh, including specifically the default space So if we run all of these, these will all be the same, all the same, because this is the default for this one. So the next thing that he is working with is then using example, since this is a vector, a single vector with several character elements, whereas this was individual vectors. So this was like four vectors that were being pasted together. So example paste with the sep of a space. This one is merging individual vectors together, and this is only one vector. So I'm thinking that Hmm, I'm going to have to see. So actually nothing happened. They're all still individual because we didn't do a collapse. The collapse default is null, so it didn't collapse it. So if we paste and we do include collapse with a space, this will collapse them all together into one single character string with separated by spaces. And there we have it. 
So the next one that we will look at is paste with example and just plain collapse. So this should actually do the exact same thing because this is the default. There we go, exact same thing. So he's having us make an example two that is the same thing as this. So what I'm gonna do is put this into example two. And see what example two is and see, just so I don't have to type it all over again. That gave us what we wanted. So the next function that we're going to look at is string split. And this takes oops, two arguments. The first one is the vector that you're going to split. And the second is the element that it will go to and then delete as it splits. So this took that same example and then split it up by all the spaces and took the spaces out. The next option for looking uh, for working with this string split, we'll do example two again, is if you don't put anything inside the quote that it splits up every single character in there, including the spaces. What I find is one of the weird things with this and that he points out is that this doesn't put it into a vector, it puts it into a list. So if you actually wanted that vector, then you have to use unlist to unlist it. And there it's a vector. And just to See it, we'll test it and say, is it a is vector? Oh, there's a dot in there, I think. There we go, so true, it is a vector uh, that is just every single piece of it, including the spaces. So I'm turning to the next page, and I think there's just one more of these. So he's working with an example three. I don't know if I tried this, but I'll go ahead and do it. So example three is putting together as one long string. This is the first character string and putting that together with this is, oops, if I could type, this is the second character string. We'll run that. I like to see it because part of it's hidden in here in my global environment where I'm looking at it. So it's two character strings that have several characters, including spaces in there. And if I want to string split example three, and I want to split it up essentially by ah the spaces, even though it's two character strings, it's going to be a list, so it's going to give me this probably as one list, and this is the second list. And each word is an element. So if I want that all as word, 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 and a long list of words, then I would have to unlist this right here. And this gives it to me as one long vector. So that's where I'll go ahead and end this one.